All right, let's look at question two. It says the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 72 centimeters. So an equilateral triangle means all sides are equal to each other. And then they lie on a circle, the vertices. So don't judge my picture. I'm doing the best that I can. Fortunately, you don't get points for pretty pictures or lose points for bad pictures on this test. Okay, if, if, if the total is 72 and I divide that by three, each side is 24. The radius of the circle is W rad three centimeters. Okay, when we go to draw the radius in, here's what most students do. And this is a grave mistake. They'll go, Boop. Why is that wrong? Well, you end up with this little area right here that's unaccounted for. We don't know how long that gap is. That's gonna block you. So whenever you need to draw in a radius, I really recommend you draw it to a vertices so that there's no gap. So you're gonna wanna draw it in like that. The same goes for, sometimes they'll have square inscribed in circle question. You don't wanna do that. Draw it to the corner. So here's the thing. I can actually make a, an isosceles triangle out of this because if this is W red three, this is W red three. Now we know we have an isosceles triangle. Now here's something interesting. This segment right here is one third of the circle, okay? So that means that this central angle right here is 120 degrees. So if that's 120 degrees, these two base angles, which are the same, it's gonna be 180 minus 120, 60 divided by two. Each one of these is 30. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna divide this in half to make a right angle. Because I already see a square root of three, I want you to think special right triangles 30, 60, 90. Because a square root of three is one side of that special right triangle this is w red three this is 30 and then this has got to be 60. okay if the whole thing was 24 over here on the side that means that this is going to be 12. all right what goes across from the, t the 60 degree angle well if you know your ratios of your sides the ratios are as follows across from the 60 is um x radical three across from the 30 is x and the hypotenuse is 2x. So they're trying to throw you off making the hypotenuse have a radical three in it. Don't worry about that yet. Let's just try to figure out what x is. If we can figure out what x is, then we'll, we'll be able to relate that one side of 12 to the other sides and figure out the hypotenuse. So 12 equals x rad three, divide by radical three on both sides. Now, how do you simplify that? We rationalize the denominator. So that ends up being 12 rad three over three. So it's four radical three. So x equals four radical three. So that means that this side is four radical three. And then this side, since it's the two x side, it's two times four radical three, which is eight radical three. So when they wanna know what w is, and they said this side is w radical three, well, w has to be eight because it's outside of the radical three. And then you're done. So the value of w is eight. So don't panic. Take it one step at a time. The key is to draw your radius to a vertices, not down the middle, not where there's a gap. And then look for opportunities to make right triangles and isosceles triangles. Here's an example of another circle problem that's really a right triangles problem.